G'day viewers, this is Troy from Troy's Digital Lights channel. Whilst I've um, started on building this two colour field sequential colour TV camera and monitor system, I've um, decided to do a bit of experimentation on seeing how the two colour system would look um, with red and green and aqua and orange. Anyhow, firstly I have did the typical free colour experiment with red, green and blue which has seen um, in this picture the colour image is made up of three composites of um, of black and whites which um, you got red, green and blue which when um, put under when a black and white image is put under different colour filters the black and the luminance of of um, the reflected colour responds differently to eight for two different filters which with um which with blue you get more you get more more of a um luminance when filtering with blue on a black and white image and uh with with red you get um wherever it's red it'll be it'll come up lighter um with the beak and its body and um with the green you get more lightness on the green areas and when combining all those three you get using um a photo imaging program you get a color picture well anyways um i decided to tint each um filtered color image with the primary colors so um wrong one um so which you got here your red and you got your green and you got your blue anyhow i've um made a uh, I made a um, field or frame sequential animated color image of the lorikeet by combining um, combining the three frames one after the other. So and this is what I come up with. So that's prim. So if the frame rate of that was at least probably three times faster the, f the flicker would barely be noticeable and you'll see the color lorikeet so yeah um pretty much a, um, a free color wheel in front of in front of the camera lens and and one in front of the monitor will produce a flickery color image like this and this was um this is a bit like the old CBS field sequential colour system but slowed down a bit. Anyhow, um, I've, this, um, I've experimented with the two colour system which, which when using reds and greens, I get this um, red and green composite colour picture which, you know, you're missing the blue information but you still got a relatively nearly accurate looking color picture and that's obviously consisting of just red composite and green composite or channel shall I say red and green channel not composite um so yeah and then i've um, decided to experiment with aqua and orange uh whoops no aqua and orange in which I uh, add the red add a red channel I mix the red and green to make the orange and I mix the green and blue to make the aqua and this results in a little bit more accurate looking color picture but lo looking rather tinted still not as accurate as a red green blue composite color picture but um but looking a little bit better than just the red and green so i'm aiming to with my two color system to experiment with aqua and orange and and uh red and green so this is how my color picture would most likely look 
as a result when um, when doing um, each color for each particular field. I'll get a flickery but yet half decent looking to color picture. Now I've also been thinking on um, experimenting with with a four channel color picture which would be red, green and blue and black and white which I added the black and white luminance channel which I'm going to experiment with my with my um, camera system because um, because of the fact that we're running on 50 fields a second I think it'd be it works out a lot more convenient to to divide it by four instead of divide by three but I think maybe I can um, I can go the free uh, free fields for RGB color I'm not sure but I'm I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to experiment around but anyways this is how a four channel color picture will look in which I have red, green, blue and luminance Yeah, that's an experiment um, that I'm planning on later doing anyhow. I might try um, just red, green and blue in which each field per colour and it'll take three fields to make a f make the full colour picture. Be interesting to see how it turns out. But I know, somehow get the feeling that dividing by four um, be a lot easier, but I don't know, I'll just have to experiment. But anyhow, um, yeah. I thought I was I thought I'd experiment around on computer to simulate the effect of a two color image. And yeah, it comes up quite nicely, so I get a fair idea of how it's gonna probably look. Anyway, so um, this is Troy from Troy's Visual Arts channel signing out.